We're back in the age of conflict world war simulator. Today I want to figure out just how good this AI is at colonizing. So I'm going to play on the world map and only spawn countries in the old world. Let's go ahead and start off by making a Spain and maybe a Portugal. Make some of these places really like tight together. I mean, I can squeeze in like a Netherlands and a Belgium, England, Ireland, Scotland. I'm going to try, especially because we don't have as much room to work with. Because I'm only spawning nations in the old world, uh, we might as well make like a lot of them. This also means no one in Australia. Oh man, I really need a map with New Zealand. How can we not have the Kiwis in this game? Now with a game mainly focused on colonization, we absolutely have to have revolts on. How else will the new world countries get their independence? I've properly named all the nations, so let's let this race begin. Already I love the disgusting clump coming out of this part of Europe. I think it's safe to assume some of the nations that will likely begin to get to the new world. If Indonesia can already take out Thailand, then they're going to be very powerful. As you can see they're definitely gonna get to Australia first. Oh, we have alliances now in this game. Persia and Israel, Germany and France, that's a strange alliance, Kazakhstan and Iraq. Nobody has died yet, somehow. Portugal and Spain going at it, but watch Morocco get involved. Scotland and Ireland, of course, there's like a Celtic agreement up here. And the Scottish have already made it. I knew they were gonna be uh, among the first, but I actually thought that maybe Norway would get there. I don't think so. We have our first death. Spain was destroyed by Portugal, so they will be forming the Iberian Union, I guess. Mali has also made it to South America. So we'll see if Mali can somehow hold down things back in Africa or if they can stop the revolutions that will surely take place in the Western Hemisphere. Greece and Ukraine are the next alliance. So it's just gonna be Scotland and Mali all over here, huh? Thing is too, if someone reaches their capital, which isn't that hard, then the entire territory is gonna be lost. Let's just watch as these colors just race across this part. Is Indonesia already? Yep, Indonesia already got all of it. But you know what? The Philippines grabbed a little bit of Papua New Guinea as well. Persia was destroyed by Kazakhstan. That's why they're looking nice and thick. Oh, I didn't include Tibet, but it looks like Bangladesh just destroyed them. Figured, you know, why not include Tibet? My social credit score in China is already like at negative 300,000. Also, we have Siberia to keep things a little bit balanced. Look at these weird borders right here. They're all kind of even up this way. Love that it's very clear to see who's doing alliances and who's just being dead. Sweden destroyed by Denmark. Legoland has gotten its revenge on Ikea. I think some of these small nations will do better than you're expecting. That's the biggest thing I've noticed about this game. So people are attacking Scotland, it looks like. Ireland might be the one to take out England. They're so close. And so Scotland and Mali have now met in North America. A lot of, I guess the split will be down in Mexico. Again, give it time. So we have obviously some of the top players that have now, I guess, arrived in the top three. Scotland is number one though. They actually have more land in North America. It looks like maybe Mali would be, but that's not the case. So now we have to watch this revolt risk. Right now for Mali, it's not that bad. For Scotland, it's only at 2%, but that's going to slowly rise. So many wars happening back at home. People are actually going to begin, well, there's actually not a lot of room. I bet you the revolutions don't really take place in the old sphere. Look at all these nations that have been killed. Algeria, Israel, Russia, and England. So I guess Ireland did take out England. Probably a whole lot of whiskey being drunk here now. Oh, Israel was destroyed by Egypt. Again, another reverse card. Russia destroyed by Ukraine. What is going on? We're living in some strange alternative history. Ooh, Mali got a lot of the Caribbean, interestingly enough. And it looks like they're protecting their capital pretty well. At least Mali is. Scotland is a little bit more risky. If Ireland backstab them, uh, they could easily get there. So are these alliances forever or just for a little bit? Germany was destroyed by Denmark. That's the second kill Denmark got. Also, France was destroyed by Belgium. Belgium is the only French-speaking nation, I guess. Well, everyone out this way. Oh, look at this border gore. There's a lot of border gore happening in southern China. And also, even in, like, the Korean Peninsula. Is Indonesia and the Philippines hooking? Oh, yeah, they are. Oh, that's a very nice way to detect. So we have Vietnam and Sri Lanka. So India's dead. Was that a revolution that took place? No, that's just a war. Turkey and Georgia now both moving in after Kazakhstan. No war between Mali and Scotland just yet. Oh, Mali has a nice alliance with Nigeria and Belgium and Denmark are teaming up. That explains why they're winning in continental Europe. Alliance broken, Scotland and Ireland, uh-oh. Also, Thailand was destroyed by Indonesia and Morocco was destroyed by Mali. Mali gets even stronger. Are they gonna catch up to Scotland? They still have a little bit to go, but they're getting there. Mongolia is actually ahead of Indonesia who has all of Australia right now. Also have the Philippines and Vietnam. So I'm glad that some of the alliances will be broken. Like they're safe for now, but sometimes things will be broken and then the wars will start to, oh. Scotland's dead. Oh my god, who killed? Belgium killed Scotland. Let's see if Belgium now gets their race after Iceland. The problem is Mali's gonna get all this. China and Mongolia had a little bit of alliance. Let's see what war happens here. You might want to build a wall, China. We also have the Congo destroyed by Ethiopia. Scotland destroyed by Belgium. We saw that. And Myanmar destroyed by China. Ukraine going after a, lar a large part of Denmark who has like control of her central Europe. I'm starting to notice there might be less uh, revolutions, huh? I think that's the case, which I, I like. There was way too many before. 
Mali's at a 15% revolt risk. It's really just Nigeria that needs to backstab Mali and try to go after them. Portugal, I think, is too small. Also, their hands are full with Belgium. So right now, Mali is far and ahead the largest empire on the map. And also, of all time, too, they were double the size of Scotland, who was number one before. Mali is insanely powerful. Indonesia is beginning to kind of move their way through Vietnam, I think with the help of the Philippines a little bit. Yeah, the Philippines have a lot of southern China. They're going after China here. Boom, there it goes, Vietnam. So Indonesia getting more stuff. Now let's see if they go after Bangladesh. So can the AI only form one other alliance at a time? Yeah, I don't think they can form massive, uh, like, three-way alliances, three ways. It can only get one alliance. That's an interesting concept. I like that. Portugal now going after Belgium. Oh, we do have one uh, a successful revolution. It's New Land. I'm going to rename that to Brittany. That's obviously Brittany, France. Very curious to see what Mali does next. Mali is actually, are they invading Ethiopia? Or Ethiopia is invading Nigeria. Is there, like, a defense pack where, where Mali will help out Nigeria? I don't know. I don't think Mali's at war with Ethiopia right now, so maybe not. Oh, wait, their alliance was broken. It's gone now. Yeah, there's no, like, blue um, circle next to their name. Denmark is now pushing. They killed Ukraine. Turkey was destroyed by Georgia. A couple of revolutions have been put down. There's only been one successful one. Or wait, what is that? This is a city-state that just got its independence. I've never seen a city -state. What even is that? Sedan? They're probably not going to live for very long, so I'm not going to rename them, but we'll see if I eat those words. Mongolia and Kazakhstan with an alliance. Ukraine destroyed by Denmark. How crazy is that? And Mali is still now just at a 7% revolt risk. So they've actually been handling it, bringing it down a little bit. What about Mongolia? Mongolia is looking huge. Someone's got to clean up East Asia. This is too messy. Indonesia is a little bit higher. Only at 8%. Nothing too crazy. Sri Lanka moving up through the southern part of the Indian Peninsula. Or India is gone though. This is a complete mess. Mali continues to change colors so it keeps like throwing me off. And now this revolution has taken... Ethiopia is trying to put down a revolution. These guys are trying to gain their independence. I don't know who this is. And Ethiopia... Wait, how... Ethiopia died. How did that happen? I think you guys will be uh, South Sudan. There we go. All right. So it looks like the revolutions won't just affect the huge empires. They will affect smaller ones too. Madagascar has destroyed South Africa and now they own all of South Africa, all of the continent itself. There's also another uh, interesting revolution. I don't know if this broke out of Georgia. Mongolia's got so much. They also have a weak ally with Kazakhstan. And there it is, Perth was broken out of Indonesia. This is basically Perth, Australia. If it happened on the other side of the continent, I might have called it Australia. And that happened with really low revolt risk, which, which means that Mali, Mali's, Mali's breaking right now. They're at 21%. There's no way they don't break. They also have a part of Greece, or no, the Italian peninsula. Any moment now, Mali's gonna have like seven revolts, I think. I think it goes up when you're at war. Georgia's a nice little blob in the, in the center of the map. Denmark and Belgium somehow still friends. So yeah, they do come to each other's aid, I think. Ireland's somehow still alive. They got three settlements on this small square. Molly's really trying hard to take out Madagascar. They're at 40% revolt risk though. Perth has kept their independence. Oh, and Indonesia and the Philippines, their alliance is over. Mali has seen its first revolution, but it's a very tiny place in the Amazon. So deep within the Amazon rainforest, that's when people are leaving the Mali empire. And I think they got their, they're already free. They just were allowed to go. I'm going to call them the Amazonians, probably led by Jeff Bezos. Mali has pushed back Madagascar, but they haven't killed them yet. Madagascar is going to be very safe on this island, but all these nations probably not gonna last South Sudan dealing with another revolt or their own revolt because they revolted from somebody else. What is going on? All right, there's some really weird nations now forming that I don't even know how I'm gonna uh, name them. Is this, I don't know where that even is. Northern Sweden, Northern Norway. Belgium now actually has, mo wait, did Belgium have that before? I thought it was, yeah, I'm sorry, they are. They always had that. Look at these very small revolts that are happening. So it's not like the worst thing in the world, but Portugal did not need this right now. It's not gonna make their life any easier. And the Amazonians beginning to spread in the Amazon using that cover, I'm assuming, hiding in the trees. Here goes Mali again after Madagascar. They're slowly going to get closer and closer. Perth is again moving in after Indonesia. I think they're trying to unify Australia, but this actually might backfire. Very small revolt that Sri Lanka is dealing with. They've united all of South Asia, though. And of course, of all places to have multiple revolts, it's China because that's just what they're known for. I think you type in China on any nation, and this game probably just is like, yeah, you got. <gasps> okay, there goes Mali. Uh, Mali's lost everything. I knew it was only a matter of time. That was a little bit longer than I expected though. Is that like Tennessee or something? And then we have Canada up here. I don't know who to name. Wait, is that, that's like a Peru. It's almost a Bolivia, actually. I don't even know what to call this. Keep feeling like I'm definitely uh, misspelling some of these countries. There's probably at least one that I've misspelled. I apologize. Mali actually lost a, a little revolution back here. So they are getting pushed out completely of South America, their first continent. Didn't even mention that there was a Chad empire, but they died. Not very Chad of them. Siberia has been destroyed by whatever's happening up here. I don't even know. Ravenberg? Uh, Korea took out Japan. Japan was destroyed by Korea. That's crazy. And Indo 
Indonesia is probably gonna, yep, Indonesia is very dangerously close to the boom. Manila has fallen, assuming that's Manila. Manila. They also took out Perth, so Indonesia's keeping it together. They're also at 0% revolt risk, so maybe it won't happen again, but a uh, huge mess happening. That is Wyoming. I swear, Wyoming is here to show you that they exist, and they're gonna force everyone to know that by taking over the world, or at least we're gonna see about that. Mali is still doing okay, because they still have a lot of Africa, but they've almost been completely kicked out of America. I knew that was gonna happen. Remember, the origin of culture is actually Scottish up here, a lot of Northern America, and they had a little bit of influences from Mali, and now they're kind of doing their own thing with Wyoming and Tennessee and Canada. The Amazonians and Bolivians just battling it out. Mali is still number one, but not of all time like right now they're they're kind of they're kind of low at one point they were twice the size but I mean they're still beating everybody else Georgia looks like they're getting a little bit closer though the map actually cleaned up a lot better than I thought it was going to clean up I'm just curious if you can go until one left even with revolutions maybe it's just really difficult I have the 13 colonies it's just I don't know with the blue gave me those vibes and of course Wyoming and the 13 colonies teaming up to uh, take out Canada they've also have a little alliance right here boom Canada's dead the Amazonians have been destroyed by Bolivia. Mali still actually has a lot of stuff over here, surprisingly. Whoa! Georgia is really big. When did Georgia get this big? Also, is someone gonna, boom, Belgium's finally dead. Did Denmark do that? Yes. Belgium finally backstabbed Denmark, or the, or vice versa. So now Denmark can get their true area. They need Greenland. Get, let them get a little bit of Greenland. That's just their thing. That's, that's what they like to do. Mali's trying to get their territory back from Bolivia, but they're they might be stretched a little bit too thin. Car is helping them out, or they're fighting against Car. How is Georgia this huge? They just took out Sri Lanka. They start off in the middle of the map. See, that's what I like about this game. You, you really can't tell who's going to win, or who's going to even do well. Like, no one would have picked someone in the middle of the map. Seems very unpredictable, like some people that come out on top. Mali has been passed up. Georgia is number one. Not of all time, though. They still have a ways to go. Georgia's not having to worry about their southern front too much. Oh, they did destroy Denmark. Okay, that's huge. Portugal, how the hell are you still alive? And... Mali is officially gone. Car has destroyed Mali, which means they lost all their random territories here. There's three nations in America, Bolivia, Wyoming, and the 13 colonies. Portugal has the British Isles, and now they're going after Greenland themselves. This is absolutely crazy. South Sudan now. Is is Car going to take... Wait, no. Maybe Car is going to lose. South Sudan now maybe taking the whole continent. Does Georgia have any alliances? I don't believe Georgia has a single... Oh, now they do. Georgia has an alliance with South Sudan, which explains why they're doing so well now. Someone's trying to unite Asia. It's either Korea or Indonesia. Again, we saw this story before <gasps> and Georgia is done just like that Georgia overnight is I think pretty much done although maybe maybe not maybe not. let's see if South Sudan backstabs them look look at all these how many how many revolutions can take place all at once and they might even see more the, the revolutions are taking they're fighting other revolutions at this point Georgia might be able to crush some of them but probably not all of them there's still an alliance between Georgia and South Sudan which is what they really need right now this gives an opportunity to Indonesia maybe they can do something while Georgia's distracted Oh, Georgia's really distracted. Portugal's still going. Wyoming, 13 colonies, and Bolivia being very peaceful over here. In terms of age, there's officially only three nations left because Korea was destroyed by Indonesia. So these are the oldest original nations, Georgia, Indonesia, and Portugal. At the very least, I just want to see... Wow, this is insane. What, what happened over here? How did everything just collapse like that? Also, Bolivia is dealing with some very small uprisings. They can easily take that back, though. Portugal's got to watch it. They're at 24% revolt risk. Do not let what happened to Georgia happen to you guys. I was trying to give Georgia the country some limelight allowing them to beat out the state of Georgia being more recognized but I mean I will say it's gonna be pretty unforgettable what they just did and the huge fumble that just happened South Sudan is very close to taking all of Africa. We'll see. Maybe if they attack Bolivia next, that's possible. I didn't even bother with like renaming any of these revolts. I just didn't know who's going to survive for long enough anyways. When like 10 revolts happen at the same time, I'm like, I, I can't do it. 13 colonies has destroyed Wyoming, solidifying the fact that they do not exist. It's not a real place. It means that 13 colonies is now, oh, South Sudan unifying Africa. Look at that. And they might be the ones that finally take out Portugal. Look how dangerously close they are. I still don't know exactly how many tiles they need to get. Three? Yeah, it looks like it's three. Portugal's dead. Indonesia's still going. 13 colonies looks like they were slowly were they moving in after Bolivia? Bolivia's trying to clean up a lot of these, yeah, a lot of this border gore and they're gonna do that. South Sudan looking very good. Uh, Indonesia is now the oldest and most original nation. They were the last ones to survive out of the original like 30 that I spawned. They're also the biggest right now. They're the biggest, again, not of all time. Mali was really high, and Georgia actually was second place for a second there until they died. This is a crazy war. Now, the 13 colonies, they were moving in through Europe, but now they're getting pushed back out. 
uh, revolution is taking place. This looks like a Venezuela. Also, the 13 colonies are seeing Alaska rise up and some sort of other revolt inside of Alaska. These are just polar bears, I think, at this point, and they're dead. No more coke in this world. South Sudan, of course, collapsing too. I actually didn't know if they were going to survive long enough or what. Indonesia's keeping it together, though. Look at, oh, maybe not, 38%. Every time I say something like that, there's always a massive collapse. All of these revolutions taking place at the same time all around the world, too. And I think Alaska might be, t I need to rename them now. Yes, Alaska is going to take out the 13 colonies and Bolivia is going to get a lot out of that too though. Bolivia's, their number one problem is themselves though. They cannot stop revolting and then that distracts them for a little bit. There's whole new players inside of the old world now. I don't know who any of these people are. Who are you people? I think that Patrick <laughs> Seems like when it comes to this game, slow and steady wins the race. Don't expand too fast. Sometimes you just gotta like sit there for long enough until you can slowly gain more land. You also probably don't want to expand too fast because, yeah, revolt risk. Which Indonesia's keeping it together. Bolivia also doing pretty well themselves. I just have to see what happens with Indonesia. Oh, l okay, literally right when I said that. They were getting so close to the Black Sea, they got to the Black Sea, and then they had to take care of all this. Yeah, they got too big too fast. 67%. Okay, they're losing everything. They, they're literally losing everything. Well, at least they're the oldest country. In my book, that's kind of a way. Alaska is the biggest right now. How did Alaska take over the entire Western Hemisphere without me noticing? Uh, Indonesia is so far away. Oh, because Bolivia was getting close, and then Bolivia just died. Bolivia is like the last nation I renamed, I think. And is Indonesia dead? Oh, yeah, we have the fall of Indonesia completely. They're over. Well, it was a good run. Now I barely recognize anybody here. Plenty of revolutions took place. Seems like this game's going to continue to have some more updates in the future. So please subscribe, and I'll keep on coming back to it. And big thanks to Why Am I Doing $20. This? Is a lot, a Drew. fat Norwal, Drew's Argentinian Bring grandpa, Chris three seven seven three, good old Raya, I stole Drew's pet Jekov, dog, Bruni, Luxembourg, Nation, Matt, Riss, Dortman, five six fresh ten, fresh animations, e, Ronjay, the Pie, the Polish, Lithuanian, the Mexican, seven sixty, Wiccan, Hamsen, Zany Boy, 